Intro is an infighting style. If you guys have not seen this yet. You, you've been working of keeping the blade from passing across your body. Okay. Boom. You, we don't want that blade to flash across our our guts. We want to keep it either outside, inside. So that it doesn't do that. Okay. Because that's that's scary. It's a big problem when the blade starts to flash across my body. We have a style in her own that's called combate and intro. And we've all seen um, a couple demonstrations, we've worked on it, but there's actually a set of uh, progressions that can be made. And I wanna show you guys that today. I wanna show you know the graduates that have not seen it and, and uh, the gurus that we've been, you know, that we can work on it. And we can uh, start to make something out of it. So first we need to uh, set the standard. Okay. The standard is, uh, go ahead and do the uh, basic speed, one, two, and strike the nine, right? Kambate deals with long blade and short blade, okay? So he's going to be fighting uh, the Spada Itaga, sword and shield. So it goes one, two, and strike, one, two, and strike, one, two, and strike. And in that way, the idea of combate is to keep my blade dominant position on the center line and allow this blade to pass through by parrying it in the way that we work on when I the first day I was here, where we do the parry that goes um, back. Okay, it's a pack style. It goes back. Okay, away. So I'm going to be cutting his blade and at the same time pushing his blade back at him. Okay. And the only other thing that you guys need to know is that I'm turning here and I'm turning here. Or I'm stepping here and I'm stepping here. Okay. That can be secondary to what I do up here. I must make this perfect. This can be secondary because I, I have to first cut and then evade. And that's the safest way. If I'm evading and cutting, well, that's uh, retrograde movement. Okay, so late movement. This is very early. Early because he's crashed in on me and he's trying to come in here like this and cut me and stab me. Okay, this guy, this guy over here is a problem to me. Right? Look at him. Yeah, he can't wait. So what I what it looks like is one, two, three. Dominating the center line. And did you see me gain my position? If I'm back here, see how that blade, even as much as I want to parry it, I must be in parrying range. This is parrying range. This is sword range. And now I'm trying to transition that range because he's crashing into that space trying to get at me and he doesn't care if I cut it. This is how we deal with someone who's gone amok, who's gone nuts, who is so much into the fight or so high on drugs or whatever their problem is that he's not afraid of getting cut. How do you stop someone like that? This is one strategy. Okay. So I go one, two, three. I go one, two, staying in range. One, two, three, go. Catch, I caught him on his balance line. That was good. So one, two, this weapon stays in the middle. I'm not going cut. I'm, he's cutting himself. I could do it with the parry only. Cross, one across, get the knife. It stays 
Okay, stays in the middle. Let's start with the standards, all right? 